Hey guys, I'm Malia. And I'm Xander. Today we're going to be talking about all sorts of fun stuff. Hey Xander, guess what? What? It's holiday season, and when it's holiday season, I feel like having cookies and holiday lights and seeing friends and family. What do you enjoy? Well, for me, I want to see long distance family members and holiday dinner. Cool. Are you going anywhere for Christmas this year? No, I'm not going anywhere. Are you going anywhere? Yeah, I'm going to Chicago. Let's go to Kira to see what some other people do to celebrate the holidays. Hi, I'm Kira, and I'll be asking students today what their holiday traditions are. Well, every year in our neighborhood, two houses volunteer, and we have a secret Santa. And so uh, the first house we go to, we always eat appetizers, and the second house we go to, we eat dessert, and we have a secret Santa. Uh, me and my family, we go to my best friend's house, his name is Asher, and we celebrate Christmas. We usually have like a big party, eat a lot of food. My holiday traditions for Christmas Eve, I go to my friend's house in Temecula, and we go on the computer and look where Santa is every hour. My brother and sister and I still kind of keep up the traditions we had when we were little kids. So I know my brother and sister come down for Christmas and we all watch movies the night before Christmas. We watch The Muppet Christmas Carol, which is really dorky, but we still watch it. Um, and we open one present the night before and just a lot of family time. I think that's our tradition. We celebrate Christmas in my family and my daughters and I get up late because they're old. And so we get up and we have a breakfast like dish that I make overnight and we have homemade cinnamon rolls. And we open stockings from Santa. That's my favorite part of Christmas are the stockings because you can get a lot of good stuff in stockings, can't you? Happy holidays. <laughs> Wow, people have really cool holiday traditions. Yeah, I can't wait for the new Star Wars movie that's coming out. I know, right? It sounds really awesome. Although I can't remember what happened in the last movie. Me too. Let's go to Taylor to see what to remember what happened in the last movie. Okay, so as you know, it's December. That means one of the most greatest movies that's coming out this month. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Okay, we're trying to show that we left off as Luke burning his father's helmet and seeing his ghostly appearance. But did you know that the new hero is Rey, which we know to be Princess Leia and Han Solo's daughter. Dun, dun, dun. We also know that Disney has taken control over Princess Leia and she is now technically a Disney princess. Star Wars will bring out the inner nerd in you and you'll be cheering and laughing now in the field of the movie theater, you know, because that's where it is. And you will be most surprised when the most amazing thing happened is... Oh yeah, now I remember Darth Vader died. You know what's weird? What? I'm feeling like I want to do some crafts. I don't know why I feel so artsy all of a sudden. That's okay, I heard Nikki has a cool craft. Let's go check it out. How to do a fun holiday craft with candy canes and other stuff that you could probably find around your house. So the supplies you'll need for this project is candy canes, brown pipe cleaners, super glue if you have some, uh, ribbon, uh, googly eyes, and beads. Step one: you will start off with the brown pipe cleaners. Take out one. I can actually get that. Okay, <clears throat> and. You put it underneath like the loop of the candy cane and then put your own crazy design in it to make it look funny. I usually make it loop. Step two, you'll um, need the super glue and you take out the red beads to make a cool little nose for it. It's easier to put it on the note, like the tip put the bead on it, hold it down with your finger. And just wait a couple seconds. So next step, you will be cutting the ribbon. I can't tie a bow that well, I'm just gonna put it in the line. You, it's, if you know how to tie a bow, then power to you. Before we go, let's look at some animations made from some of the Vita students.
That's, That's all, all for, for today. today. Thanks, Thanks for watching and happy, happy holidays. If I could have one wish come true, it would be peace for me and you. Peace I want year 2016 to look like. I want Dr. Shigella and Ms. Anderson to have fun with the kids here in Vida. I want my 2016 to look like less homework and robots to do everything for us. So I want to put on the best play that a middle school has ever done in the state of California. And I want all of my students to always turn in their homework on time so that I can be happy. I want 2016 to be a year where hopes and dreams are accomplished. I want to be the best 8th grade year ever. I want the teachers and students to collaborate and have fun this year. Peace on Earth. Have fun with my friends and family.